Now we'll solve for n is equal to 2. When n is equal to 2, y dash of n is equal to y dash of 2, that is q of 0.95 y dash of n minus 1 plus x of n. So it is q of 0.95 y dash of 1 plus x of 2. Now q of 0.95 into 0.6875 plus 0 will give us q of 0.653125. Now we will again quantize this product. So the process is 0.653125. First we will convert it to binary that turns out to be 0 0.101000. Then we will add sign bit that is 0 0.101000. Now we will round off to 4 bits that is 0 0.1010. Now we will extract the sign bit, it is 0 0.1010. Now we will convert it to decimal. Conversion to the decimal turns out to be 0 0.625. So it is finally after quantization 0 0.625 which is 0 0.1010. Now for converting to 0 0.65 we can see that 0 0.1010 is equal to 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to minus 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to minus 3 plus 0 into 2 raised to minus 4. This is 0 0.625. And decimal to binary conversion, for example, if you take this value, that is 0 0.653125, first we will multiply by 2. This is 1.306250. This one is the first bit. Then again, we will multiply by 2 we get 0 0.612500. This 0 is the second bit. Again multiply by 2. We get 1.22500. The third bit is 1. Again multiply by 2. It gives us 0 0.45000. So it is this. And again multiply by 2. It gives us 0 0.90000. So again 0. Now we will calculate for n is equal to 3. When n is equal to 3, y dash of n is given as y dash of 3 is equal to q of 0 0.95 y dash of n minus 1 plus x of n. That is q of 0 0.95 into y dash of 2 plus x of 3. That is q of 0 0.95 into 0 0.625 plus 0. That is q of 0.59375 that is 0.625 so it gives us 0 0.1010 this is rounded off again to the 4 bits and similarly we get the same that is 0 0.625 now if you compare y dash of n for n is equal to 3 and y dash of n for n is equal to 2 they are the same that is y dash of 3 is equal to y dash of 2 hence for all values for n is greater than or equal to 2, the output y dash of n will remain the same that is 0 0.625. Therefore, the system enters the limit cycle when n is equal to 2. The limit cycle of the system can be represented as, from the table we can see that it goes on. That is, for n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3, it comes out to be 0 0.625. So, 0 0.625 will remain constant for n is greater than or equal to 2. Now for the first order system with only poles, the dead band is given as plus minus 2 raised to minus b upon 1 minus mod of a. So here b is equal to 5 and mod of a is equal to 0.95. So the dead band will be plus minus 2 raised to minus 5 upon 1 minus 0.95. That will give us plus minus 0.625. This a value is from the equation y dash of n is equal to q of a into y dash of n minus 1 plus x of n for n is equal to 2 and b is the number of the bits that the product is to be quantized that is given as 5 bits. So this is the dead band of the filter. Thank you.